Okay, we're gonna start lying down. So come down onto your mat, have your knees bent, feet flat. And you're gonna start with your pelvic tilts just to make sure that you can find neutral. So go ahead and place your fingers on your cubic bone and the heel of your hand on your hip bones at the front. And then from here, we're gonna imagine that marble right in the center and you're gonna roll the marble from your cubic bone up to your belly button so that your belly button is gonna sink down into the mat. Okay, try not to use your bottom. I want all to come from these little band of muscles between your hip bones. And then from here, we're gonna send the pubic bone down to the mat. So we're gonna roll the marble down to the mat. Your belly button lifts up to the ceiling as the pubic bone reaches down. Again, you might have a little arch under your back now. And then we're gonna go back. So we're going back to the belly button pressing down. And you wanna feel these muscles really working here. And I'm trying to keep them switched on a little bit as you send it away, which is much harder because you're stretching it out. And we go again, so belly button down to the mat. Work these muscles, try to feel them pulling in, try to imagine that the hip bone we're trying to pull together. And then keep that engaged and you're gonna come right to the center so that you're not arching and you're not flat. You're right in the center. So you should feel the weight of the tailbone pressing down into the mat. Now we're gonna work the rib cage. So you have a neutral pelvis. Now for me, I like flare my ribs out. So I wanna imagine that my front ribs are pulling down to my back ribs without moving anything down here. So you have to keep this little band of muscle working. So my, and then the front ribs drop to the back ribs and you'll feel the weight of the rib cage. So you have the weight of the pelvis and the weight of the rib cage. Now to hold all this together, you have to be able to feel like everything's kind of pulling into your center. So we're gonna hold this. The arms are gonna come down by your side. Now again, you wanna feel that everything that's touching the mat is gently pressing into it. So the back of the head, right behind the eyes, gently pressing in. The spine is sinking down, okay? But I'm not changing my bones that I just created, that neutral pelvis. I'm pressing my arms down, my elbows down, and my wrists down. So now everything is pressing down into the mat. I can feel all those muscles working. I'm gonna go ahead and do my uh, knee floats without changing anything. Let's go ahead and start with the left foot. So the left knee is gonna rise. Nothing changes. Place that foot right back down. And we go to the other side. And we're gonna alternate for five, five, Four, four, three, three, two, two, and one, and one. Hold it up there. Take the other leg to meet it. Okay, we're adding on for your toe taps, and nothing should have moved off the mat. Let's start with the right leg. So we're gonna tap it down. And uh, watch, make sure that the heel doesn't drop. This angle between the thigh bone and the shin wants to stay the same. Four, four. As the leg goes away, make sure it's not pulling you off your back. So you don't wanna be arching if the leg reaches, okay? So try to keep everything pressing down, okay? The leg reaches away, you have to counteract it more. Two, two. And one, and one, okay? Place both feet down one at a time. We're gonna go for those heel slides. Okay, so let's start on the left side. So you're gonna reach that leg away. As the leg reaches, try not to drop to that side, okay? So keep making sure that you have a nice neutral pelvis and nothing's changed. Don't let it pull you off your back. Slide it in. Other side, reach away and pull it in. And four, and four, three, three. Working hard to keep everything that's on the mat stable, two, and two, and one, and one. Bring the legs in. Let's take the arms up to the ceiling. Okay, fingers and thumbs. Press them together. My strong arms, okay, reach the arms. So no bend, nice long arms, like all the muscles are trying to wrap to the bones. 
Now we're going to take the arms back overhead. You're going to be mindful that the ribs don't flare or pop off the mat. Okay, so press that everything down. Don't lose this. Okay, when you're tucking, keep that neutral pel the pelvis. Press the rib cage down as you reach the arms back. They're not reaching down, they're just reaching back. And then press up. Reach the arms back. Inhale. Press something really heavy to bring the arms back up. Three more. Reach back. Lengthen. As you reach, feel your whole spine lengthen. Exhale. Press up. Two more. Inhale. Reach. Exhale. Press. Inhale. Reach. Exhale. Press. Take the arms down by your sides. And here we're going to add in, we're going to go straight into our hundred. Okay, so we're going to keep the feet down. You're going to reach the fingertips towards your heels. You're going to nod the chin to the chest so that you have a nice long neck. Now, nothing here is going to change. I'm just going to press my rib cage down even more into the mat so I can lift my upper back. My eyes are right above my knees. And I'm going to reach here for my toes. From here, I'm going to hold everything still. Nothing that's touching the mat is going to move. I'm trying to not bob my head up and down. I want to just reach. And we're going to inhale two, three, four, five. Exhale two, three, four, five. Inhale. And exhale. Inhale. Exhale. Inhale. And exhale. Keep reaching the arms forward. Imagine that you're pulling your rib cage back. Keep pressing the waistline down into the mat without tucking here, okay? So you want to keep this nice and flat. Last 20, inhale. And exhale, two, three, four, five. Inhale. And exhale. Take the legs out long. Flex the feet firmly. Imagine that they're reaching into something. Take the arms back. Try to connect everything down into the mat. Squeeze those legs together. Take the arms up. Pick the head up through the frame of the arms and roll up. And you're going to reach up and over. And you imagine that you're dragging something really heavy to come back down. So roll away. Press the spine into the mat. Keep working the legs. The legs are like your scaffolding so that you can just roll up. Reach the arms back. Inhale the arms up. Head comes through. Exhale to come up. Lift the spine up and over your pelvis. Reach towards your heels. And roll away. Reach it back. Arms come up. Head lifts. Press down to come up. Now lift the spine up and over as you reach. Two more. Going back. Arms reach. Arms lift. Head lifts. Upper back lifts. Keep working the glutes, the hamstrings, the inner thighs. And reach the legs away. Last one. Keep reaching the legs away in opposition. As you're pulling back this way, the legs are reaching, the legs are reaching, the legs are reaching. Reach the arms overhead. Last one, we come up. And lift up and over. It's going to our rolling like a ball. So, you're going to grab hold of your shins. You're going to drag your heels towards you. So it's like the armpits, are, uh, the knees are coming to the armpits. Lift the heels, drag the toes. Now, without changing your spine, so you don't want to sink, I'm trying to lift my rib cage up to the ceiling, and the back of my neck is lifted. Eyes are on my toes, I'm going to lift my toes up. And my shins are pressing into my hands, and my hands into my shins, and my elbows are lifted. So I'm not here. When I feel like I've got a really nice, strong back. When we roll back, you inhale just to your shoulder blades, and you're going to exhale, and you're going to come up and find this balance point. Try not to lose the shape. We go back on the inhale. Exhale. So as we inhale, think about the knees going up and back. 
And as you exhale, you're trying to keep your, chase your sternum to your thigh. So we inhale, exhale, sternum pulls forward, inhale, exhale, inhale, exhale, one more, inhale, and exhale, hold it here. Drop the legs, scoot the bottom back a tiny little bit, roll down with control, Pull both knees into your chest for your single leg pull, single leg stretch. Take the left leg and extend it out. It's going to slide along the other leg. It's going to go at about 45 degrees. Don't go any lower because then it pulls you off your back. Okay, so you want to keep it in. The inside hand on the knee, the outside hand on the ankle, high wide elbow. Everything that's touching the mat doesn't move. Okay, so pull in. We switch. So my upper body isn't moving, it's just my, my hand. I'm going to pull and reach, pull and reach, pull and reach. And three, three, two, two, one, and one. Pull both legs in, lower the head down briefly, look from side to side just to release it off. You can use your arms, high wide elbows. Chin to chest, lift your upper back. We're going to go for a double leg. Okay, so you have an option. You can extend the legs and you can go here. You're in a boat position. We pull two, three, and pull in. So that's one option. So we go out, press the hands into your thighs, and pull in. Other option, okay, and reach the arms and legs away. Now, don't let the arms pull you off. So don't use the, so keep pressing. The belly button and the waistline into the mat. And only take your arms and legs as low as you can and then pull in. We'll go for two more. Reach away and pull in. Reach away and pull in. Lower down. Okay, come up to seated. And we have our spine stretched forward. So the legs want to be about mat width. You want to pull your whole foot back, not forgetting your baby side of your foot. So this toe directly correlates up to your outer hips and your big toe to your inner thigh. So all 10 toenails pulling back. You want to sit right up on top of your sit bones. We're not slouching. Sit right up on top. Top of the head, reach into the ceiling. Your arms are out in front, like they're just on an imaginary shelf. And everything wants to be in line with your shoulders. You want to imagine that you're breaking that imaginary bar that we talked about. So think about the armpits pulling towards the rib cage. You're going to inhale and lengthen like you're trying to levitate off the mat, chin to chest. Now for every millimeter you go forward, you're going to pull back with the rib cage and the waistline and the pelvis, the hip bones pull back as you reach forward with the crown of the head. You're going to reach forward. It's like you're trying to get your face over your shins, but you're trying to pull your lower back and your pelvis back. And then inhale and restack like you're pressing yourself up and against an imaginary wall. Let's go for three more. We're gonna inhale, lengthen. Exhale, round forward, reach forward, and then pull back with the belly button, pull back with the hip bones, and let the rib cage try to get up to the ceiling. Keep your and shoulders out of your ears, you're staying on your back, you're reaching from the top of your head, not your arms, reaching from the spine, restack, two more, inhale, exhale, empty the lungs out, squeeze the lungs out as you exhale, if you're exhaling, you're still reaching, you're still moving, you're squeezing every last drop when you have nothing left, inhale and reinflate and restack. Close the legs and we're going to flip over to the floor front for some extension. So legs are squeezing together and your hands um, are going to be right in front of you for a little pillow. So place your hairline on, the, on your hands and you're going to imagine that your hands, the top of your hands, are glued to your forehead and your forehead is glued to the hands so they can't come apart and then stay connected. Squeeze the legs together. Gently press the pubic bone down into the mat. See if you can like internally lift your stomach. Okay, so it's like you're trying to pull those hip bones together that we talked about at the very beginning of class. You want to keep that engagement. 
so that you're not going to tip your pelvis either way. So it's not like you're going to stick your bottom out, which causes you going to your low back. You want to reach the pelvis away and lift the stomach. Squeeze the inner thighs, lift the stomach, and unweight the ribs. And then from here, the hands are going to be glued to the head and the head are going to be glued to the hands. You're going to lift the elbows a tiny little bit. You're going to let the shoulder blades gently draw down the back. And you're just going to lift the back of the neck so it's in line with the spine. And then from here, I want you to pull the stomach in a little bit deeply and see if you can lengthen the spine. It's like you're just trying to find space in the vertebra and we're holding. The legs are squeezing together. I'm reaching my feet away from the top of my head and the top of the head away from my feet. And then I'm gonna lengthen to come back down and then relax for a moment. And we go again. So squeeze the inner thighs together, press the pubic bone down into the mat, lift the belly internally off the mat, unweight the ribs, press the head into the hands and the hand into the head, lift the elbows, and then just lift the back of the neck so it's in line with the spine. Hold it here. Now see if you can find more length by pulling your stomach in and up. And we're gonna hold, hold, and hold, and then lengthen to come back down. Last one. Inner thighs pulled together. All 10 toes are pressing down into the mat. Press the pubic bone into the mat. Lift the stomach internally. Unweight the ribs. Press the head into the hands and the hands into the head and lift the elbows. Lift the back of the neck to come up so that this head is in line with the spine. And then see if you can lengthen. It is not about how high you go. It's about how long you can go and how much space you can create. So if I go up any higher, I may dump into my low back. It's being quite supported right now with my low stomach. And you're going to hold, hold, and hold, and then lengthen, come back down. Place your hands underneath your shoulders, curl your toes underneath you, and press up. Pull the stomach in, round back, and stretch. Try to breathe into your back ribs. So we're gonna inhale into the back ribs, and into the side ribs, and then exhale it out. One more big inhale into the back ribs, and exhale. One more inhale, and exhale. And then stack yourself back up one bone at a time. And you're finished. <laughs>